In some ways, Victor left Peterson no choice with the seriousness of the linebacker's DUI arrest. But we've all seen schools choose expedience over principle. The coach showed again that he won't play favorites in matters such as this, which should resonate through the program. Many have theorized that coach Chris Peterson's decision to dismiss cornerback Marcus Peters from the Washington football team in November 2014 was a turning point in building the Husky powerhouse that followed two years later. Peters, after all, was a first-round NFL draft talent who simply WASNT conforming to the guidelines Peterson and his staff had installed that season after taking over for Steve Sarkeesian. By kicking a star player off the team, one who would prove his potential by making the Pro Bowl in his first two seasons with the Kansas City Chiefs, Peterson was showing, unblinkingly, that no one was immune from the standards he espoused. Now those standards are internalized in a Husky program that last year made the college football playoff and this year still has a chance for a New Year's Day Bowl despite last Friday's loss to Stanford. And now, Peterson has taken another stand with a big-name player, suspending senior linebacker Azim Victor indefinitely after being arrested for suspicion of DUI over the weekend. In some ways, Victor left Peterson no choice with the seriousness of the arrest. But we've all seen schools choose expedience over principle, especially with victories at stake. The coach showed once more that he won't play favorites in matters such as this, a fact that should resonate through the program once again. I think our guys know how we operate, Peterson said Thursday. I think they have a real clear idea of how we're going to do things, and it doesn't really matter who you are. And the kids, they've got to make their decisions and choices. That said, there is a different dynamic at play with Victor as opposed to Peters. The latter was, by his own eventual admission, a disruptive force on the team. The following February, Peters told USA Today that, in retrospect, if he were Peterson, he would have booted him off the team even sooner. Specifically, after an incident in a game against Eastern Washington in which Peters committed a headbutting penalty that wiped out a third down stop then threw a tirade on the sideline when Husky personnel tried to calm him down. But Peterson let him stay, at least for a little while. I embarrassed my teammates, the coaching staff, the program, man, he told USA Today. I wouldn't have let me back on after that. Victor has had a confounding season, a preseason first-team All-American, suspended for the first game, and then slowly losing playing time to Ben Berkervin, who eventually replaced him as the starter at middle linebacker while Victor slid to a more limited role on the outside edge. Then came Wednesday's suspension following Victor's arrest. He had a blood alcohol content measured at 0.097 and 0.092, according to the arrest report obtained by Como News, after being pulled over by a Washington State Patrol trooper. The legal limit in the state of Washington is 0.08. Peterson said Victor's puzzling decrease in playing time had nothing to do with the earlier suspension, nor was it disciplinary in any fashion. In fact, Peterson has praised Victor for keeping a positive attitude this year despite his travails and did so again Thursday, calling him a good team guy. He really was. Yet many people still can't wrap their heads around the fact that a Player as touted as Victor, thought to have such a high NFL upside, could be eased out of playing time so drastically in his senior year. I love Azim, Peterson said. And he knows that, and his family knows that. It's a matter of, he had that tough injury a broken tibia that knocked Victor out of action for the final month of the 2016 season and then missed the first game. But you've got to come back to earn everything. That's just how it is around here. He was in a group that had good players that really took off. I think we are all, starting with myself, frustrated with the whole situation for him. But it was nothing to do with something other than football. As Peters proved, this suspension does not have to wipe out Victor's NFL hopes, even if it ends his Husky career. Peterson wouldn't say if the door is open to a possible return. Victor has done many positive things for the Huskies on and off the field, including establishing Azim's Dream Foundation to help in the community, and earning his undergraduate degree. Yet this is another cautionary tale for Husky players that Peterson ISNT just giving lip service to his built-for-life formula. Peters said he had that epiphany after he left the Husky program, involuntarily. I don't blame Peterson for anything, Peters told USA Today. All I can blame is myself because I made those decisions and I had to live with them. They were working with me a lot, and I just IDIDNT get it. IDIDNT see it in front of me that they were trying to help me out. Victor doesn't have to be condemned by his bad decision this week, which fortunately didn't result in anyone getting hurt. Peterson said he is committed to providing the resources and information that allow his players to grow and mature and make sound decisions.
He takes no pleasure, he said, in having an example to hold up, just as he did INT three years ago with Peters. I don't take any of that stuff in a good way, he said. I don't look at it and say, that's a good thing. We're setting the tone. I just don't. It's hard. It's painful. I've said this many times it's one of the toughest, hardest, worst parts of the job, but it's also one of the most important parts of the job. To me, it's pretty clear-cut, it's pretty black and white, even though every situation is not black and white. We're not going to handle them all the same. And that's where sometimes it can get a little bit tricky. But we're going to do what's right for the program and really what's right for the kids as well.